Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Katif Technologies, and I'm going to show right here how we can use a new feature in Inventor 2010, the ability to fill a gap using a fillet weld, previously not available in Inventor 2009. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to measure uh, the gap and show that the gap between the end of this uh, beam and that uh, channel is about a quarter inch. We're going to use the fillet weld to fill that, and I'm going to go ahead and choose my fillet weld tool. Having done that, I'll pick the three faces right here that I want to use and then follow it up by the face of the channel. And there you see the preview. I'll set my size to a half an inch. The preview looks good. I'm happy with the weld. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And there it is. Uh, I've taken that weld. It's spanned the gap and filled the gap like I might do potentially in a real case scenario. And you know, show that that weld goes in there. Previously, something not available in Inventor 2009, uh, already you know, added here in 2010. So just a little tour. Thanks for watching, and look for more later. Thank you.